wait, oh wait, a topic. Um, how about education? Uh, with the uh, public schools and funding, it's uh, quite a hot topic right now. That won't work. We both went to St. Bernard's. Not some down on its luck gov-run school. We were comfy in one of the richest bling-tastic schools ever! <laughs> but you got in and your family was poor and broke. I barely got in with a scholarship. But you were really smart on top of the class. You were amazing at everything. You do know you were amazing, right? Ugh, I was a nerd. But you got tweets every time you passed a test. Let's not bring up the schmackos. I developed an addiction during high school. I went wacko for schmacko. You were a schmacko? You were a schmacko? Well, I wouldn't really put it that way. Well, even you had it in you. Up top. Oh, sod off, Scooper. It's okay. Even I get into a bit of the wacky schmacky every now and then. That's because you eat, snort, and smoke everything. Even poop. So? So that's what's been happening to my little... Ew! I'm just saying, mice will be my style. I, I, I think Lucy's trying to raise a different point the here. The point is, I nearly lost everything because I got into schmackos at a young age. Like many young pups across the country. I couldn't get out. Once I was in, I was hooked. I became fat and on the edge all the time. And the more I tried, the harder it was to wean myself off. And then when I did, then came the withdrawal. I couldn't motivate myself to do anything. I became sluggish, lifeless. I couldn't move an inch. But then if I saw a schmacko, if I was met with even the promise of jerky goodness, I would change. Like you could rile me up to do anything just for one schmacko. And I did some pretty regrettable things. Oh shit, this is getting dark. I'm gonna go eat some garbage. That magic rabbit hasn't got to it first. You know, I, I, I used to do catnip a lot. And it was kinda hard to get over. I mean, it wasn't as addicting, but I still had to fight it. And it was tough. So I understand. It must have been hard, but you made it through. You're, you're an aspiring actress on a snazzy vogue with a lovable host, and you're on your way to being the snazziest pooch in showbiz. So you, you won. I guess I did. You bet your fluffy tail you did. Thanks, kitty. Are we still on? Huh?